Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I'm going to show you the new Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection. I am playing with it today um, for the first time and I got the girls eyeshadow palette. I got Fuego Highlight and I got no shade lipstick. So that's what I'm using today on my face. And yeah, if you guys want to get this look, if you want to see how I created it, then just keep watching. Okay, I have you zoomed in really, really close so you can see my eyes. And for the transition colors, I'm going to be using the Jacqueline Hill palette. So I'm going to be taking some of the shades in this palette to do the crease. And I will list the shades I use in the description box because I can't find my little card. Okay, I found it, so I could kind of tell you what I'm using. I'm going to be using Silk Cream first, and I'm taking a Morphe G17 brush. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. And I'm kind of just keeping my eye open to kind of gauge where I want to put that eyeshadow. Because this color is really soft, so... You're not really going to mess up with this shade. So since my last video, a lot has happened. Summer vacation is over and Abby is now in first grade. So she is gone all day, which makes it perfect for me to film. Because I just have my son here and he's pretty quiet. So that's why I've decided to actually get a new camera. I hope you guys like the really high quality. You can see everything. Now I'm going to take the color Pukey. And I'm just going to define the crease even more. This time I am going to close my eye. Because this has to go right inside the crease. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm just kind of dragging it out here. I really like when my eyes have that really long shape to them because sometimes they can look really, really round. Oh, right in here. And then if you have to go back with the blending brush, you can just go right here to soften it up. So now that Abby goes to school all day, I have a lot of free time during the day. So I'm going to be able to film a lot of videos for you guys because now I wake up super early. I haven't woken up this early consistently every day since high school, literally. I, I'm not a morning person. I hate waking up super early. I'm not productive. And so I have had to get used to this new schedule because I'm telling you, the first couple of days, I swear I was like a zombie. I was not able to function and I would do everything. I went to Starbucks one day. I was like, how about, you know, maybe I should just order coffee, espresso, see if that helps me out. <laughs> I think I got like four shots of espresso in my drink. Nothing, you guys. I was still sleepy. I came home after getting that drink from Starbucks. I was like falling asleep. I couldn't believe it. I was like for sure, you know, with the Starbucks, I'm going to stay awake. Now I'm going to take the Real Techniques shading brush and the color. Let's do Central Park. Still using the Jacqueline Hill palette. And then I am going to... Define the crease even more. So this one, you do have to go a little bit slower. Ooh. Okay, so I'm kind of just putting it where I want it first. And then right now I'm going to wipe this brush clean to help me blend. So have any of your guys' kids gone back to school? feel like like if I went back to school because when Abby comes home and she has to do homework 
you know, I sit down and I do homework with her. It's like, oh, now I have to do homework again. I have to read with her again. It's like almost like if I went back to school. I have to wake her, wake up early, take her to school, then pick her up. Not this way, Zombie. Not this way. Take her all to school. So this is a product that I'm really looking forward to using. Um, I kind of just dipped in with my fingers to see the shades, but I haven't actually used it on my eyes. So this is the first time I'm going to be using it. And I really want to use Harpoon because it's a really pretty kind of olive with gold flecks in it. And that one you have to use wet. So, and they say to put all of these eyeshadows on with your fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is going to go all over the lid. How pretty is that shade? Oh my gosh. Okay, that is gorgeous. Do you guys see how glittery, how glittery and sparkly it is? That's really pretty. Hey, my animals. And the dango. Do you see yourself? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I'm just taking a wipe just to kind of wipe away any glitter or eyeshadow. But this color is so pretty. It's It just has like the olive undertones but the gold glitters just makes it so pretty. Kind of even changes color as you turn your head. See a lot of gold, then a lot of um, like that olive undertone really pretty okay now I'm gonna do some eyeliner so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline gel eyeliner in black is black and then I'm gonna use the Sigma winged liner brush in E06 it is super tiny as you can see because I'm just gonna kind of line my lips just so um, I could hide the lash band because I will be putting on false lashes so I'm just doing a really thin line right on the lashes and I did flick it out just a tiny bit I don't know why this eye is so red. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's so red. It makes my eye look so weird when I put on makeup. See? It's not good. <sighs> Stop calling me. What is that? Oh, I got a stretch. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Ooh, I'm fainted. Okay, now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This mascara is so good. I'm just gonna coat my lashes. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm gonna just pop these lashes on. These are the iconic lights. Oh my gosh, they have all kinds of glitter. I'm gonna clean them and then put them on. I'm gonna do my face and then I'll be back to show you the rest of the look. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the under eye part of my eye. So I'm gonna go in with the color. I'm going to go in with the color Pukey. And I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. So I'm putting it under there and then I'm just going to connect it with the top eyeshadow. If you can see there, I'm just connecting it. Just taking a clean brush to blend that out. Doesn't matter what kind. I have a huge blending brush, but I'm just getting rid of that harsh line. And then I'm gonna go in with Central Park again. That's the color that I used in the crease to really define it. I'm just gonna put it on the outer edge right here and then connect it with the eyeliner. I'm gonna go back in with this brush and blend it out. And I'm gonna go in with this ALF brush, 202. I really like these brushes. I like the clear handle. I think it looks really pretty. And I'm going to go back to the Dose of Colors, Desi and Katie. I'm going to take the color Suze. This is also a color that you need to use wet. So I'm just going to dip my brush just a tiny bit in. I'm using this. I'm not using water. But you can use water or whatever mixy medium you want to mix it with. That's the Pixie 
Makeup Fixie Mist. So I'm just going to dip it and then put it in Sue's. And I'm just going to put it in the inner corner. Ooh, it's a lot more golden in person than I thought it was going to be. It's very golden. It's really pretty. It's like a very champagne gold. I don't know if you can see here, but Sue's is a lot more golden than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more like a white gold. But it looks really, really pretty. It complements the gold glitters and harpoon really, really well. So now I'm going to go in with the Highlight Fuego. I got this shade here. So I'm just going to go in with this Sonia Kashuk Multi Fiber Brush. By the way, do any of you guys know what happened to Sonia Kashuk? She like literally fell off the face of the earth and nobody knows why. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go in with her brush. And then I'm just going to put it right here on the tops of my cheeks. The overall feel I get is just everything's very golden. Like just very sun-kissed vibe. I like to put a little bit right here on my forehead and a little bit right there on the temple. Go right here. To be completely honest, it's not as intense as I thought it was going to be. Well, on me, for instance, it's not super like blinding, but it does give you that wet look. My cheek does look very like wet, dewy, but it's not like the blinding highlights. Like I have some that are way more blinding than this, but I do like that wet, dewy look. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild blush and I forgot what this one's called I looked it up I think it's the prettiest pearlescent pink I want to say or prettiest pink I don't know but I will put it in the description box it's the wet and wild it's like the peachy pink one and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks a little bit right in between the bronzer and the glow whoa whoa Okay, for the last part of my eye makeup, to finish it off, I'm going to put some mascara. And I have two of these. One is the waterproof one. And that's what I use underneath my eyes. Or the lower lash line. Okay, I'm just going to lightly line my lips. I'm using this Italia La... Or what is this? It's this brand. Deluxe. I don't even know where I got this, but it's in the shade natural. You can use whatever lip liner you want that's kind of a natural tone. So the last thing from the collection that I want to try out is the lipstick in no shade. Looks like this. The packaging on this collection is amazing. So pretty. I'm just going to lightly put it on. And then I'm just going to dab it in with my fingers. It's rare that I ever really love a lipstick like just straight from the tube. I always have to dab it into my lips. So here is the overall look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And as far as the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection, I think it's so beautiful. I can't really give you an in-depth review because I've only just started playing with it. But so far I've been loving uh, the formulas and the way everything is looking on the face and on the skin so especially this eyeshadow is so gorgeous it kind of caught me off guard how pretty it is because usually I it looks really good in the pan but once you put it on your eye it's totally different but it actually looks so gorgeous on the eye and that's what I really really love I love that it has the olive undertones but with the gold reflex it's just really pretty it's very unique and it's not the typical bronze gold uh, colors that I usually gravitate towards. So I'm really, really loving that. It's something a little bit different, but still kind of in the realm of neutrals. So I love that. And the packaging itself is just so gorgeous. I mean, I think this packaging is so pretty. What girly girl that's into makeup is not going to love this? I mean, it is just so pretty. The sparkle, like 
the way it sparkles, the tone. It's very like champagne, but it still has like that pink rose gold undertone, which I think is so gorgeous. And of course the lipstick, everything just looks so, you know, they really put a lot of thought into everything and I really appreciate that. I think it's pretty. It's something that I would love to just have out so people can see because it's just so pretty. And yeah, if you guys really want like an in-depth review on the products, I could do that after I played with it for a while. But just leave me leave any questions that you have in the comment section as always. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.